An American suffering from agoraphobia and PTSD heads out as a solar walker on the Camino de Santiago. Her journey starts with all her issues rendering her unable to even board a train in Madrid. Determined to complete her journey, she has to overcome the strains of trail life, injury, and her own inner issues. I'm Mike, and today I'm doing a no spoilers review of an audiobook on the Camino. Blanket of Stars Through Hiking the Camino de Santiago by C.W. Lockhart is both book and audiobook. The blurb starts by calling Lockhart an unlikely pilgrim. However, midlife crisis, chronic illness, empty nest, marital woes, military service, PTSD, rage, grief, heartbreak and fear make her sound more like the average pilgrim to me. Average in that anyone deciding to walk an 800 kilometre pilgrimage has their usual battered and bruised soul from living life. And like many pilgrims, she's hoping to find equilibrium, or as Lockhart often calls it, resetting. Be that ditching walking partners, being ditched herself, or a larger life reset. This memoir is very honest and raw. Her description of other pilgrims is unfiltered, as is her descriptions of her inner dialogue, which, given the list of issues I mentioned before, can be unhealthy and dark at times, especially in the start of her journey. Some other reviews mention she is whiny, but she's actually just describing her inner thoughts as they unfolded to her. As we continue our journey with Lockhart, she opens up to her past, which explains how she got to the point where she found herself needing her Camino reset. I personally related in my own way to many of her struggles. I too had a huge panic attack when I started my Camino. I too had so much I didn't know about the Camino or Spain. Her joy in being called a peregrina, the way Camino angels appear at the right time to help her, and she in turn helps others, is genuinely beautiful. I enjoyed accompanying Lockhart in her Camino transformation. And the way she shares both the good and the bad at every stage makes me feel like I'm right back on the trail again. Her skills as a professor translate into being a good author. The audio recording is quite good quality. Occasionally you can slightly tell where edits are or that the recording has been made at different times, but still very professional. Lockhart's voice and cadence is calm and genuine. Some of the other reviews on Audible said things like monotone and boring, but yet the very next one said, I loved her voice, her tone, and her journey. So I guess it's a bit more personal. Lockhart is not a professional voice artist, however, I found her very listenable too, and my mind didn't wander off. If she does sound a little whiny at times, that's where she's recounting her negative self-talk at that moment of her journey. That's honesty, not poor performance. Any shortcomings of not being a professional narrator are more than overcome by the fact that she is the author of the words. They are her thoughts, her observations, and that genuine voice really added to my enjoyment of the audiobook. In short, this is one of, if not my favourite Camino audiobook. Amazon gives it a 4.6 for the book, I give it a 4.9 for the story, and the audio, well, her voice and recording equipment really only gets a 4 from a technical perspective, but I'm going to up it to a 4.8 because it feels so authentic to the story, and that's what an audiobook is about, giving it a combined 9.7 out of 10. Did you enjoy my first audiobook review? Click like and subscribe. Got any other titles you'd like me to review or other comments? Just pop them in below. And as always, when Camino.